Hey guys, Jaden159 here, and I'm going to show you how to get Wire Mod SVN for Gary's Mod. Uh, if you don't know what SVN is, people think it's a totally different version of the add on, and it's not. It's just uh, the most updated version, meaning that the people that make Wire Mod and the other add ons that are SVN, uh, they, they can upload it directly to SVN websites, and you can update from that. So you can get versions of the add on before it's even updated to any site. So it's basically all an SVN add-on is is the newest most updated version with all the bug fixes and special features and stuff so any website I use in this video is gonna be in the description so you don't have to worry about that I'm gonna go to Google and type tortoise SVN all one word first one that pops up is tortoise SVN dot tigris or tigris dot org uh, so I'm gonna go to download on the left there's two versions of this there's 32-bit and 64-bit for Windows. Um, most people have a 32-bit 32-bit um, 32 processor, uh, and if you have a 64-bit processor, you'd probably know. But if you're not too sure, try 64-bit. I mean, 32-bit first, because that's most people have 32-bit. So I'm going to use 32-bit, and you just download and install this program. I already have it, so I'm not going to do that step. Next, you're going to want to go to Google again and type gmod svn links and the first one is svn links gmod wiki basically the site is a whole list of different add-ons for Gary's mod that are svn um, you're not gonna have to go to this site because I'll just put the um, uh, wire mod svn directly in the, the description but this is what this is the site you're gonna use if you want to find different add-ons for svn so I'm gonna find wire mod here it is, wire mod. Uh, and here's the, it gives you the form link, uh, it gives you the, their form, that's for like uh, reporting bugs and stuff. Uh, here's the SVN link, that's what you're going to want. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and copy that into a notepad. This, this is going to be in the description. Uh, on your desktop, you're going to want to make a new folder called the wire mod. And after you have Tortoise SVN installed, uh, you're going to go to right click the folder you just made on your desktop, SVN Checkout. And here's a list of the saved ones I have, but you're going to paste this um, wire mod one into this box. Um, okay. So you just click OK and it's going to install wire mod. And this is going to take a while so I'm going to pause the video. No. Alright it's done. Um, completed at revision 1612. So now I have wire mod in here. Uh, the thing I am mi missing though, that's just the mod. Um, that's not the only thing you need. You also need... Uh, hold on. You also need wire model pack and advanced duplicator. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and bring this up. See what that thing was, it was just wire mod. And now you need to get the model pack which has all the models for the buttons and stuff. And you can just call it wi wire model pack. SVN checkout, same thing. And I'm going to pause again because this is probably going to take a while. Alright, um, I, I canceled it because it was going to take too long, but you just do the same thing. So you SVN checkout, then wire model pack with the second link. And then you get advanced duplicator. And you want to make sure you do this one too. These things don't have to be spelled exactly because the name of the add-on folder doesn't really affect it. You just gotta worry about what's inside of it. So then there's the advanced duplicator link. This one don't, doesn't take long at all. So I have a fully updated, um, completely the newest version of Wire Mod, their newest models, and the newest version of Advanced Duplicator, which comes with Wire Mod. So basically, you have all three of these. And that's all you gotta do. Then just copy these or cut right into your Gary's Mod add-on folder. 
which y'all should know where that is. Program files, Steam, Steam apps, your username, Gary's mod, Gary's mod add-ons. Paste it in there. And as you can see, once they're in here, they have these green checks. So I have my wire model pack, my wire, which is just the wire mod, and my advanced duplicator. Uh, you can also get PHX SVN, which I really suggest, because that's PHX3, the newest one. Um, but this video is for wire mod. So you have all three of these checked. And whenever, like, after like a month goes by, you want a newer version of wire, you think they have bug fixes or something, you just right click it, SVN update. And then it'll automatically update your wire mod. So just right click SVN update every couple of weeks, every month, however you want to do it. See, th here's some updates for my wire mod. S so I just got some bug fix and whatever they had updated. And it's that easy. You just right click update. There, I updated my advanced duplicator. And it's that easy. Every couple months, just update it. And you have wire SVN. Um, it's the full mod. You don't have to go to Gary's Mod.org or anything. I really don't suggest ever using Gary's Mod.org unless you have to because they have like viruses on it and stuff sometimes. But if you can get something for SVN, don't be afraid. It's not a totally different add on, it's just updated. So use SVN if you can. Use this site, it's really helpful. SVN links. They have all kinds of add ons. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, comment, uh, send me a message, email me, whatever you got to do. Uh, rate and subscribe. Thank you.